The Trillionaire Life of Princess Amina. How would you spend your life if you ever became a trillionaire? For Princess Amina, this isn't a question, but a reality. Princess Tonku, Tun Amina Maimuna Iskandaria, is a member of the Johor royal family in Malaysia. She is the only daughter of the current Sultan of Johor, Sultan Ibrahim Ibn Almarhum, Sultan Iskandar, the current king of Malaysia. Today's video is super exciting because we'll be taking a look at Princess Amina's trillionaire life and how she spends her practically infinite wealth. Stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Chapter 1 Early Life Amina was the sole child born into a wealthy Johorian family in 1986. Her father was quite wealthy. With a remarkable net worth of $5.7 billion, her father, Sultan Ibrahim Iskandar, is wealthy and a billionaire titan who rules over an empire in the real estate, telecom, oil, and gas industries. He is regarded as the king of Malaysia regarding title and fortune. Princess Amina's youth was like living in a fairy tale palace with the best tutors and every luxury imaginable as the only girl sibling in the royal family. Princess Amina had an active childhood, participating in sports like running, horseback riding, and mountaineering. She also inherited her mother's artistic talent and became a well-known artist. However, despite her achievements, Princess Amina encountered difficulties in her relationships when she got older. But we'll discuss this later in the video, so stick around. Chapter 2 Stepping into the Entrepreneurship Bubble Princess Amina had a wonderful upbringing as the daughter of a highly regarded king and has always been true to herself. After graduating from the upscale Australian International School in Singapore, she became an economist equipped to take on the business world with style. However, Amina aspired beyond spreadsheets and business meetings, and at the age of 21, she started her makeup line called Leuven's The Royal Art of Beauty. And guess who was the face of this brand? Yes, Princess Amina herself. Giving her items a dash of royal glamour helped Princess Amina gain popularity for her own royal flavor and grace. She became the face of her own success as her brand took off rather than just riding on her father's fame. Chapter 3 relationship struggles. Princess Amina was on a quest for true love, which she couldn't find among the royal princes her father introduced her to despite her family's approval. This meant that by the time she turned 29 in 2015, it was finally time to get married and start her own family. She had turned down many suitors chosen by her father, Sultan Ibrahim. However, who would have imagined that the princess, stopping for a bite in a regular cafe, would find the love of her life there? As the European cafe manager Dennis stepped forward to serve the princess, their eyes met, and they both knew that this moment would change their lives forever. Little did they know that this encounter would begin one of the most amazing royal love stories ever. Here's a little bit about the princess's now husband as well. Dennis Verbus was born and raised near Amsterdam. He moved to Singapore, where he got a job managing the TZ Rovers football club. In addition to his managerial duties, Dennis Verbus pursued part-time modeling jobs and ran a cafe, which is how he met Princess Amelia. Dennis was blind to the fact that he had fallen in love with a born princess whose father was a well-known Johor royal. He only saw Amina as an incredibly attractive Asian girl he genuinely liked. After a whirlwind three years of courtship, Dennis suddenly learns that she is a princess and the daughter of a king. His love life has taken quite a turn. The young man's last name, Verbus, which means amazing surprise in Dutch, pleased Amina, she claimed. Well, that name surely lived up to her meeting the man of her dreams at 29. Dennis and Amina were about to have their dream wedding when the Sultan interrupted with his royal drama. He couldn't bear the idea of his daughter marrying a commoner from Europe when he had wealthy royal boys lined up for her. It was quite a surprise and a reward for her long search for love. Being the Sultan, the Sultan had his own script and threw in some challenges for Dennis to prove his worth. First, the Sultan told him to adopt a traditional Malay name twist. Then, just when you thought it couldn't get any more outrageous, their marriage contract practically disqualified Dennis from ever ruling a kingdom. The Sultan thought that Princess Amina's beloved would not agree to such wild conditions, but love prevailed despite all. Princess Amina spent three long years trying to convince her father that Dennis was the one for her. Chapter 4 
the royal marriage. Now that all the formalities had been completed, the next step was to hold a grand wedding for the couple. With a staggering 12,200 privileged guests attending to celebrate this historic event, the wedding took place at Astana Bukit Serene, the official palace of the royal family. The palace grounds were a flurry of multicolored lights, creating the ideal ambiance for the auspicious day. The princess bride glowed in her gorgeous wedding outfit. She donned a simple white Johorian ceremonial garment, a baju kurung, and a lace veil adorned with crystals. She looked truly stunning. Her makeup was equally flawless. She kept it authentic and uncomplicated. A far cry from the typical royal princess who applies makeup as though she's trying out for a kabuki play. And of course, the tiara, a must-have for any princess, brought an extra touch of royal glitz and sparkle to her ensemble. After all, who doesn't enjoy a little bling, especially on such a momentous occasion? The royal family added to the magic of the occasion by showering the couple with incense, flower petals, and grains of yellow rice. It was all about blessings and good vibes. Regarding traditions, Dennis didn't hold back and gave Princess Amina a dowry of 2,251 Malaysian ringgit. The couple was seated on a fancy golden sofa during the festivities, soaking in all the congratulations. The most memorable part of the wedding extravaganza was when Dennis read a heartfelt poem he had written to his bride Amina, bringing tears to her eyes. People adored that sweet gesture. The wedding was broadcast live on big screens throughout the state capital, giving everyone a front row seat to the festivities. Other meaningful gifts exchanged between families included traditional Malay attire, a gold ring, and a Quran. Chapter 5 Life after marriage. Given their $5.7 billion net worth, it makes sense to believe that Princess Amina and her spouse aren't exactly impoverished. While Dennis has not disclosed his net worth, it is safe to assume he is doing well financially. As for Princess Amina's wealth, let's just say that counting her riches might require a calculator. Dennis Muhammad Abdullah has risen to leadership roles in real estate development alongside his investments in prominent enterprises. Princess Amina is a powerhouse in the business world. She is also the director and designer of Leuven, and her skincare company is just one of several ventures that contribute to her formidable portfolio. Even though Princess Amina is Malaysian royalty, she believes in being a strong, independent woman who wants to establish her footing by herself. And we're here to see what more she can do and how far she can spread her wings. If you're interested, check out this video from us. In it, we give you a tour of Buckingham Palace, one of the most iconic buildings in the world. Keep watching Fortunepedia, and as always, see you in the next video.